Hello, what's up? Ali here and uh, on this video, we are going to show you how we can jailbreak our PS4 on the firmware 12.52 and uh, below. We are going to use the uh, latest method as for now, which is uh, the uh, poops exploit. And uh, for this, we are going to need uh, the, um, the ISO and also your PS4 should have a working uh, Blu-ray drive. So uh, if ever you have a uh, busted uh, drive, well, unfortunately, you will have to wait a little more because, uh, fortunately, a newer or a, a new method is on its way. It is a fully offline method, but unfortunately, it's only working for the PS5 right now. But uh, I do believe that uh, it is already on its way to the PS4. So let us go ahead on our video and uh, break our PS4. Unfortunately, on this video, I won't be able to show you how to write the ISO on a CD. Since I don't really think it's wise to invest for a Blu-ray writer just for the sake of this method, since you only need it once, and ever since day one of this exploit, I don't think we will be stuck on this method for long. So a uh, good thing it is uh, quite easy to find a ready ISO on the internet, and if you can't find one, you may contact me on my FB page and uh, I may help you. And once you have your ISO ready, all you have to do next is to ready your Blu-ray drive. If you haven't used your Blu-ray drive yet, you may have to activate it first. To activate, you will have to connect your PS4 on the internet. But uh, you have to be very careful on this one. Since connecting to the internet, your PS4 may automatically detect the latest update. So before you do that, you have to go to the settings first. Then to the system, automatic downloads, and make sure all of these features are turned off. Just make sure all of the options here are unchecked. Then go to the network. Then you may go ahead and set up your internet connection. Use Wi-Fi or LAN cable. And just use Easy. It is highly advisable to use a DNS that blocks automatic updates from Sony, but unfortunately, the last time that I used it, it is uh, currently offline. So what we are going to use right now is just the default method or just uh, the default value. Just make sure that if you see any, um, any updates that pop up, just ignore them. And once you have activated your Blu-ray drive, just go ahead and turn off the uh, internet connection on your PS4. Once you are connected online, Go ahead and insert the CD on your PS4 Blu-ray drive. You'll just have to activate it once. Once it's activated, don't forget to turn off the internet connection on your PS4. Once you are here, there are some versions that will let you choose which version you will have to activate. We are using a PS4 on 12.52 right now. So to be able to activate this, I will have to press OK on my controller. Now, it is showing here to press X, but since my PS4 has circle on its OK, so I will have to press circle on this part. And if you are on firmware 9.0 to 12.0, there are some versions that uh, you don't have to press anything. The gold hand will automatically load. Now, sometimes you will get an error here. If you encounter an error, all you have to do is just restart your PS4. And also make sure that there are no USB devices that are plugged into your PS4. Since uh, your PS4 may read the um, payload that is on the USB instead on the Blu-ray drive. This happened to me uh, the first time that I used this, so I had to um, reinitialize my PS4. And here on my end, I will have to press circle here. Now, since I get this error, I can either close this application. And try again sometimes it will work sometimes you will get more errors so it is highly advisable to just go ahead and restart your ps4 now let us go ahead and rerun the iso so once it succeeds you should see this message uh, gold hand loaded. If you see the message payload found, but you don't see any gold hand, check your PS4 for any USB devices that are plugged in. 
make sure to remove all of them. So once you see that, you may go ahead and exit. Turn off your internet connection if you haven't done so yet. And from here, you may go ahead and install any applications or games on your PS4. Now, if you want to make sure that your PS4 is totally safe against any accidental updates, I will leave a link on our description on how to go online on your PS4 or how to connect your PS4 on the internet without any risk of getting any updates. And regarding the stability of this new jailbreak, unfortunately, it is not yet that stable compared to the 9.0, but it is still uh, much more stable compared to the PPPWN. So if you are on 11.0 or on any firmware that is uh, using PPPWN exploit, I can definitely um, recommend to update or to upgrade on this method. And if you have a PS4 that don't have a working Blu-ray driver, you may have to wait a little longer for the next exploit that uses the YouTube application. And also, if you don't want to reactivate your jailbreak every time you use them, you may go ahead and enable the rest mode feature here. So go to the power saving settings, go to the set features available in rest mode, and make sure that you have this keep application suspended check. So every time you finish playing or finish using your PS4, you may just go ahead and uh, set your PS4 in rest mode. So the next time you use your PS4, you don't have to go through that process again. So this will be it for now. I will also leave a link on our description on how to install games and applications on our PS4 and also how to fix some uh, PKGs that are not working. So again, uh, this is Ali. If you have any questions, just go ahead and leave them in our comment section and I will definitely address them. And um, see you again on our next video. Bye-bye.